How do you find free space to be able to create work? I have a good answer. Okay, Lucy. <laughs> it wasn't free space, but this really worked for me. We all probably know somebody who runs a studio for children, and that studio is probably empty for large portions of the day, and for me, that's when I want to work. I don't want to work in the evening when there are kids' classes going on anyway. Um, so I just approached a school that was in the neighborhood where I used to live and said, can we cut a deal if I, if I promise to be in your space for you know, 12 hours a week and I pay you $6 an hour, uh, would that work for you? And she said, absolutely. So I think you could go even further. You may be able to find free space that way. Because one thing, uh, certainly about Toronto, and I'm sure it's true of a lot of cities, there is space out there. There's space that's not being used. And you just have to find where it is and ask. It can't hurt to ask. People who, who you know, the other people who actually make money <laughs> doing what they do. I mean, we do, but you know what I mean. The people who have like nine to five jobs that have a little bit more stability than we do, they, they're they happy to contribute in some way, most of them. And the people that aren't happy to do that, you will find, you'll sense that right off the bat and you don't want to be in that situation anyway. So it's like, it, I think everybody said this, ask. Mm -hmm. And also in-kind donations. So again, if you have a particular skill set, this is where we mentioned earlier about volunteering. If you know of a studio that requires work, maybe you don't get pay, paid to do the work that you do, but you get studio time. So the question is around, uh, I, think, I think what you're asking is around sort of building your profile. Post-graduation, you're really immersed in just trying to kind of make ends meet at first, and, and, um, and how do you build your kind of profile and, and credibility in order to pursue the kind of work that you're pursuing? Well, I, I'm talking for myself. I think it's showing people what you do. I don't have a dance diploma. I graduated in political science. And all my dance training it was done in parallel from my academic life, I guess. So I didn't have a diploma to be like, this is what I do and I'm good at it. So I had to prove it, right? So people saw me do what I do in choreography, same. I didn't go for school to that. So I just do it and then look at my work or putting on shows or creating work, and if people like it, then good. <laughs> but I was yeah. gonna say, some, sometimes it might mean having to do freebie shows, like, at the you, beginning. yeah, at the beginning, but yeah, you gotta just get your work out there, just be seen. People will get an idea of who you are, and the, the longer you're out of school, the less what school you went to means I mean, people want to see that you have foundational training, but aside from that, they're, they're more interested in what you're doing right now than where you came from, so. Um, I can't help it. I, too, have a political science degree with communications from York. Um, I don't have a dance degree. I danced in, with Gart Fig and danced tour the world for six years. Um, but what I did is that I, I, was, I believed in my product and I went away. I applied for a grant in 2000, went to the States, American Dance Festival. I met so many I had so much classes, so it's, you have to audition to do repertory work. For like a whole day, we were in the studio big as this. Everyone was auditioning to get into particular repertory companies that came to do their work. And it was a great learning experience because they had those particular degrees and diplomas. And for me who didn't have one, I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Made it into all the repertory pieces that I really wanted to. I think the political statement at this point is that beyond technique, it's how you dance. It's the artistry that is involved in how you dance. And there is no school that can teach you that. Mm -hmm. That comes from your personal investigation with what you have, your body, your equipment that you use, and that's what you use as your tool. So, um, and, and, and then it's everything, you know, it's freebies. Everything builds your resume. Everything builds your next opportunity for what you can um, actually do and what people will see as you becoming this particular viable artist. You are viable. You just have to make yourself believe it and then work towards being more viable at what you do. And if you don't know how to do some of the things that you want to do, tr train, like really train. And it doesn't mean going back to school, but if you really know what you want to do, find out who's, who's, who's doing what you want to be doing and work with them. Train with them, work for free, ask if you can sit around and just watch what they're doing. Just train, learn, keep learning, never stop learning.